This is an overview of the dynamic topic microsites functionality that is included in Employee Center Pro. We will take a look at some examples in EC Pro and then we'll do a quick review of the creation of one using the rich content editor. When you have additional content related to a topic, organizations can create rich experiences on those topic pages of their Employee Center Pro portal to better inform and engage workers. The rich content editor is an embedded tool in the now platform that includes drag and drop functionality so that dynamic topic microsites can be created by functional users rather than developers or programmers, no coding necessary. And dynamic topic microsites are tied into the taxonomy driven portal navigation and AI search to make it easy for end users to discover them. Okay. Let's go take a look. We'll start by comparing a topic page that does not include rich content with one that does. Here is an example where an organization has a hardware topic page on Employee Center Pro, where workers have access to the hardware catalog and knowledge articles. This is an example of a topic page without any dynamic content on it. Now let's take a look at a topic page that includes employee communication and dynamic content that was created using the rich content editor. On this career development topic page, you'll see the employee communications at the top that enables the worker to stay informed of communication associated with this topic. You'll also see that they have used a few of the rich text editor functions such as formatted text and embedded video to provide crucial information to their workforce. In just a minute, we'll take a quick look at how to configure something like this using the rich content editor. Let's take a look at another example. This sample manager guide is an example of a standalone Microsoft using the rich content editor to be created. This is really useful when the topic is not related to any existing taxonomy topic or particular service catalog items or knowledge base articles. Okay, now let's take a high level look at how to configure these microsites using the rich text editor. Here we are logged in as a user with content creation security rights and we're looking at an example of content that was created using the rich content editor. Within the editor, you'll see the canvas, which is the area where you create your content, a menu bar with icons to change the canvas size to desktop, tablet, or mobile, Icons on the right to hide or show component outlines, undo, redo, and clear the canvas. On the right hand panel, you see modules, which are predefined content layouts containing headers, paragraph text, and images. This particular piece of content was created using the horizontal card layout module. Further down, you see components. These are building blocks of rich content, such as columns, tabs, dividers, text, buttons, and links. Lastly, on the bottom of the page, you see action buttons of cancel, save, save and finish. When you select a component, a toolbar appears at its top right corner, allowing you to manipulate the component directly. Each component offers a variety of customization options that are accessed from the settings tab on the right hand side panel. Okay, let's go create a piece of content using the rich content editor. Okay, here we go creating some dynamic microsite content for a topic page. We come to our content library. I'll click new, choose rich content, and we'll start by naming our work. Then we'll come in and open the editor where on the right hand side, I could choose one of the predefined module layouts, or in this case, I'm going to choose two columns on the left column. I'd like to add some text. I'm going to insert some header text and then some text for the body. On the right hand column, I'd like to add a picture. I'm prompted to navigate my computer to 
find the appropriate picture, choose that, and then I can use the styling options to do things like resize it and align it. My content is created and ready to go, so I'll press save and finish. The next step in the process is to add a publish plan. The publish plan defines who can see the content and where it's going to be placed on the portal. Simply name your publish plan and indicate which page you'd like it to be on the portal. In this case, we want it to be in the rich content widget and I'm going to place it on my travel and relocation page within the employee taxonomy. As I scroll down, I can also define which audience will see this, wherein in this case, I want all active users to be able to see this content. However, as organizations, you can create any type of audience, such as exempt, non-exempt workers, or maybe managers versus individual contributors. And lastly, you can define a publishing start and end date. Final step for today, let's take a look at this content on the portal. So through my preview, I can now see on this particular topic page of travel and relocation, my new content is right there in the middle of the page. It really is as simple as that in order to create content to help engage and educate your end users. Thank you so much for your time today to look at an overview of dynamic topic microsites in Employee Center Pro. Here are some links where you can learn more and we hope you take advantage of this functionality in the very near future.